Welcome back to Plugged In on TV Kojiko. I'm Melanie DeVoe, and we're going to get a little musical in this segment of the show. Joining me to tell us what the Windsor Symphony Orchestra has in store for us over the next few months is Peter Weeb, assistant conductor. Hello, Peter. Hello, Melanie. How are you? I'm very well. I, I think you're very well, too. I understand you had uh, quite the time with one Chris Hadfield recently. Yeah, we had a real splash of a season opener for sure. Chris Hadfield, uh, what, a, what a gentleman. He's, he's just so passionate for life and knowledgeable and he just passes on such a positive message and sings. He's a singing astronaut. What happened, our, our music director, uh, Robert Franz, he is also the associate conductor of the uh, Houston Symphony. And there they actually quite regularly work with astronauts. So as Robert likes to tell it, um, it's, um, he knew Chris Hadfield from a couple of concerts they had done and didn't know that he was a big deal in Canada to him. He was just kind of another astronaut. And uh, then when he got the job with Windsor, he found out about um, Chris Hadfield and told Chris, you know, Chris, it would, it would increase my canadian exponentially if uh, you could come up here and sing with me. So anyway, they, they got together and this was the first ever uh, show that, uh, rock, that Chris did with an orchestra. Amazing. So That's I'm, a lot of fun. I'm sure I a lot everybody of enjoyed will, it. Yeah. A lot of orchestras will be after him in Canada after this. <laughs> yeah, but you yeah. were first, so that's we all first. that matters. I know the Windsor Symphony Orchestra always puts on some great holiday performances. What do you have coming up for us? Uh, we've got uh, uh, a holiday brass. You think of a, a brass quintet. There's something majestic and uh, Christmassy about the brass. So bra uh, brass quintet meaning two trump trumpets, one trombone, tuba, and uh, French horn. They will be accompanying the Windsor Classic Chorale, that an excellent local um, uh, choral group here, and uh, that's under the direction of our uh, choral person, uh, Lana Lysagor. So they will be doing a, kind of a mix of sacred and secular, uh, some uh, traditional and popular tunes, including uh, Gordon Lightfoot's Song for a Winter's Night, oh. which I remember growing up as a kid, was kind of a popular song on the radio. So a little, little touch of everything. So that's uh, December 5, 6, 7 out in the county. Terrific. Anything special coming up for children? Because I know WSO likes to do some children's stuff. Yeah. Well, we've um, uh, kind of rebooted our, our kids' program this year, and what we've done is uh, uh, programmed some concerts uh, in the Joy Theatre, which is uh, one of the rooms in the Capitol. And so it's a nice, small, intimate set setting. The kids can sit on the floor. And uh, so we've got uh, a string quartet doing one concert. That's on uh, November 29th. And then a woodwind quintet and a brass quintet also. Uh, three different concerts. So this is more for sort of uh, elementary age uh, kids. And uh, the nice thing about these concerts, with, with a small group of musicians, they can uh, talk with the kids, show them their instruments, and it, it has that nice kind of personal touch. Uh, with that, we also have um, our peanut butter and jam uh, series, mm -hmm. and that's for more for the toddler end of things, and their parents, of course. And uh, we're rebooting that as well. That's on, on March 7th, doing a peanut butter and a jam concert. Same location. Perfect. How's the Capitol Theater working out for you? Well, the Capitol is uh, just such a great old building. It has uh, all these different rooms and passageways, and of course, the glorious redone Penistar Theater. And uh, one thing we've really enjoyed as an orchestra is that uh, it's the, the acoustics are exciting and, and warm there. So um, other acoustics, you kind of have to work hard and um, play a little extra. In the Capitol, you just can kind of enjoy. It's like the room does the work for you, and the orchestra, orchestra sounds really, really glorious there. So, for instance, in our, our pops concerts, we we used to mic the strings to make it uh, make it easier to hear. Here, we can just kind of take the mics away and just play. <laughs> Here's a question, just of my own personal curiosity: yeah. How does a musician get hired into the WSO? Well, it's kind of a great process, actually. It's, it's a blind audition. So we we have a panel of uh, about six or seven, eight musicians and, and a music director, and they just hear a bunch of musicians behind a screen and they might, have, they might play about six or seven excerpts in the first round, and then they just vote who goes on to the second round, but it's all blind, so it doesn't matter if you're short or tall, man or woman, young or old, whoever plays best that day gets the job. It's like The Voice on TV. Yeah. Wow, I, th yeah, I think that's terrific. Yeah. Now, what's the, what's the point of that? Is it because you only want this sense working and not? Well, you, you know how it is if you go to a con you ask someone, how was the concert, they'll, t they'll talk about what they saw. Oh, you know, the, the, the person has such a nice dress, or they were so emotional. But if you just, if you truly listen, and you've no no visual uh, to to influence you, it's it's really what we want. And when we're listening for an audition, you want the person, you know, didn't have the nicest dress on. That that's I think that's terrific, actually. Yeah, yeah. that's really good. Um, I understand you're going to be rocking out a little to Pink Floyd. <laughs> What's yeah. going on with that? Well, there is a, a, a group from London. They're called Jeans and Classics, and it's kind of a, a classic rock backed with orchestra franchise. And they go actually all, all across the continent and do, uh, they have about 25, 30 different shows that they do. 
And so um, they've, they've got a guy who writes, writes uh, orchestra charts for them. So they basically do the classic rock, not quite note for note, but it pretty much sounds like, like the original. They don't mess with it too much, but with the orchestra backing it. So, um, and certain bands kind of lend themselves better than others to that. And Pink Floyd is kind of the, the slow moving, powerful uh, uh, rock sound they have. And you can get a full orchestra behind that. I can only imagine that's going to sound great. You're doing Dark Side of the Moon? That uh, repertoire from, from there as well yeah. as uh, you know, the other, other uh, bri brick in the wall and that kind of stuff. Uh, we, last year we did a, a Queen uh, program and we decided we want to pull our audience. We ha we're, we're a little new at this. What do people, I think we uh, asked them three choices, which was uh, Beatles, Abbey Road, Pink Floyd, and U2. And Pink Floyd just beat out the Beatles. So, wow. So audience, audience uh, approval. There you go. <laughs> Let's talk about schools, because you were saying earlier about the concerts for kids, which are fantastic, but what's the uh, WSO's involvement with schools? We have uh, two basic programs we do. We have uh, concerts we do uh, through uh, late winter, early March for uh, school kids. We invite them in from Windsor, Essex County, and uh, Robert Franz is really, uh, he's, he's won awards for his educational program. He's very, very engaging and very, very smart about the way he engages kids and, and uh, Gets them, gets them to listen, to really listen. Um, so that's our orchestral concerts. We have a program for the, uh, I think it's K to three, I might be getting it wrong, four to six, and then grade seven and up, so three different programs. Uh, and then we also send little groups into school, small ensembles like quartets and quintets. So uh, again, that up close and personal, personal uh, touch. That, that's absolutely wonderful, and how lovely for children to be exposed to that. We know that music programs are often cut in schools, so yeah. it's nice that, that you're all doing that. Tell us a little bit about Robert. Where did, where did he come from? How did he get to us? Robert's uh, originally from New York, grew up in North Carolina. I think he's uh, kind of done a lot of things. Most recently, he's been the music director of the Boise uh, Philharmonic, Philharmonic or Symphony? I think it's Philharmonic in uh, Idaho. Uh, so he's, that's, he lives there and uh, conducts that orchestra, but he's also the associate of Houston and uh, specializes, again, in the education uh, programs there. So he does a sort of triangle of life. <laughs> well, it's wonderful that we get to enjoy him for a yeah. while. Yeah. yeah. So what about you personally? What's on your agenda for the next little while? Well, I, I get to conduct the Pink Floyd uh, concert, so I'm excited about that. And um, we, in November, mid-November, we've got a Rant Maggie Rant concert, uh, which I think by the airing will have been done already, but that's a Celtic group, mm -hmm. a uh, Pops, uh, Pops concert. And uh, then I, I work with the Windsor Symphony Youth Orchestra, so I, I conduct them and uh, kind of gather, get, gather together with 50 kids um, and uh, make some great music together. And I, I just get pumped seeing kids get turned on to orchestral music, and for, for some it's a first experience like that, and they just, I love watching the expression on their face. Yeah. Um, what's the uh, web address for the Windsor Symphony? Uh, MyWSO.ca. My MyWSO.ca. And what kind of information will folks find there? You will find all of our uh, concerts and uh, you can get tickets online and also information, information about the youth orchestra uh, and uh, just gives you sort of an idea of all the different, different programs we do. What's the age range of the, the kids in the youth orchestra? Uh, about 13 to mid early 20s, 22. So. Yeah. I remember um, being in, in elementary school and trying out for band and I actually made it and I, I was thinking uh, they must have let everybody in because <laughs> I, I, I'm very truthful about the fact I have no musical talent whatsoever. My mother played violin. I did not get that gene. Do you find that, this is, might be a silly question, but does music run in families? Do you find if one sibling has a musical talent, probably the other sibling will too? Um, you definitely see that pattern. I don't think it's a universal truth, but uh, you, you will see, like uh, the Bach family. There were there were dozens of Bachs, uh, uh, uncles and grandparents and children and nephews and yeah. So it, it's a thing. That's the major leagues you're talking about there yeah. now. <laughs> all right. So again, check out the website. All the information on upcoming shows will be there, and I'm glad you can order tickets online there as well. It's been a joy talking with you, Peter. And you too, Melanie. Continued success with the symphony. Thanks so much. All right, Peter Weeb, assistant conductor with the Windsor Symphony Orchestra. So check out their website, and you'll find out all the exciting information. Sometimes they're out in the community. Sometimes we get to go to them at the beautiful Capitol Theater, but it is always a wonderful time. That's another edition of Plugged In on TV Kojiko. Catch next time.